everybody and a very warm welcome back to the latest episode of Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco. I do hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. In this week's episode, we are featuring the great Sharon Ridley. Finding information about Sharon Ridley proved to be a challenge. There are not many informations available about her, but what I found, well, we'll discuss them after some needle drops. Her first musical steps Sharon took in 1971. She emerged from Washington and signed a record deal with Sussex Records. And her debut album was released in 1971 and she did a collaboration on this album with a legendary songwriter and producer, Len McCoy. The album proved to be a success and also a single release was done with a non-album track which was called Scandal and the Bedroom and on the B-side Where did you learn to make love the way you do? Another single release came in 1973 and it had the track I'm in your corner. In 1975 Van McCoy released a song which became the most successful song of 1975, if not one of the most successful songs of the 1970s. And yeah, you guessed it right, The Hustle. Sussex took the opportunity to release a single from the first album to try to cash in on the collaboration with Van McCoy. And the single was called Stay A While With Me, and on the B-side, When a Woman Falls in Love. The label founder Clarence Avent had to close the offices of Sussex Records in 1975 as well. Uh, let's put it that way, he had some tax issues. So that meant that other artists like Bill Withers went to other labels and he took Sharon Ridley with him on the next label, which he called Taboo Records. And that led to her second album, Full Moon, in 1978. And what I think is a great accomplishment on this album is that she penned six songs on that album and she also played keyboard. And especially in the 1970s, being a woman, that's absolutely astonishing. The other two tracks on that album were Motown cover songs. And there's one song in particular which I want to point out and this is Changing, which was a dance floor hit in 1978 and especially in Paradise Garage. Yeah, and there is where the story ends. There are no more information available what Sharon did between 1978 and 2016 and why she retired from music business or why she didn't release any new music. All we know is that in 2016 she started to appear in a couple of concerts in Europe and we also know that she is a resident of Los Angeles. I have here Stay A While With Me, her debut album. And for me personally, it's one of my favorite albums at the moment. It's astonishing great. She has great vocal range and the combination with Van McCoy is absolutely a match made in heaven. And the good news is if you want to have an original copy of Full Moon or Stay A While, well, they're available and they are also affordable. So if you have a chance to listen to Sharon Ridley, I highly suggest you do that. You can find her music easily on YouTube. And maybe you like her so much 
that you want to have for music on vinyl. I would highly recommend it. So no more information about Sharon Ridley available. If you have further information about her, please put it down in the comments below. If you like to see more videos from Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco, I would highly suggest you check out the playlist up there. And I'm wishing you guys a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.